Hello and welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Tips, your go-to guide for all things wellness. Here we delve into the nitty-gritty of living a healthy life, from the science behind fitness to the economics of eating right. Today, we're tackling a question that has puzzled many of us. Why is healthy food so expensive? We'll be exploring the factors behind the price tags and shedding light on the broader issue at hand. So let's dive into why healthy food seems to be so expensive. When it comes to the cost of food, the numbers can be surprising. We often hear the lament that fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains seem to be far more expensive than processed fats and junk foods. Unfortunately, this is more than just a perception. According to a study published in the British Medical Journal, healthier foods and diet patterns are indeed more expensive than less healthy options. On average, healthier foods cost about $1.50 more per day than their less healthy counterparts. Now, that might not seem like much at first glance, but over a year, this can add up to more than $500. So why does healthy food carry a higher price tag? There are several reasons. First, organic farming, often used to produce healthier, pesticide-free food, is more labor-intensive and has lower yields than conventional farming. This means that it costs more to produce the same amount of food. Second, fresh fruits and vegetables are perishable and need to be transported quickly, often over long distances. This adds to the distribution costs. Lastly, there's a matter of supply and demand. As more people are becoming health conscious, the demand for healthy food is increasing. But the supply, especially of organic and locally sourced food, is not always able to keep up. Clearly, the price tag on healthy food can be daunting. But let's explore why this is the case. Several factors contribute to the high cost of healthy food. Let's start by examining farming practices. Organic farming, often used to grow healthier food, is more labor-intensive than conventional farming. It means no pesticides, synthetic fertilizers, or genetically modified organisms can be used. This can lead to lower yields and higher costs, which are then passed on to consumers. Next, consider market demand. Healthy foods are becoming increasingly popular. However, they still represent only a small portion of the overall food market. This limited demand can result in higher prices. For instance, if a supermarket orders a small quantity of organic tomatoes, it pays more per tomato than if it ordered a large quantity. Again, these costs are passed on to us, the buyers. Now let's talk about distribution and marketing. Healthy foods often have a shorter shelf life and require more careful handling during transport, both of which can increase costs. Moreover, marketing these products can be expensive. Companies need to invest in advertising to convince consumers to buy their products. And yes, you guessed it, these costs are also passed on to the consumer. Last but not least, government policies play a significant role. Many governments around the world subsidize the production of certain foods, often those that are less healthy. For example, Corn and soy, which are used to make processed foods, receive substantial subsidies, keeping their prices low. In contrast, fruits and vegetables, the staples of a healthy diet, receive far less government support, making them more expensive. As we dig deeper into each of these elements, it's clear that the price tag on healthy food is not just a random figure. It's the result of a combination of farming methods, market demand, distribution and marketing strategies, and government policies. As we can see, the cost of healthy food is influenced by a complex web of factors. So why is healthy food so expensive? As we've discovered, there's no simple answer. It's a complex interplay of factors from production and distribution costs to government subsidies and even societal values. We've seen how the price tag on fresh fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins can often be higher than that of processed foods. This is due to the higher costs associated with growing, harvesting, and transporting these perishable items, as well as the lack of government support compared to staple crops like corn and soy. Understanding these factors is not about justifying the high cost, but rather it's about equipping yourself with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your food choices. It's a step towards advocating for healthier, more affordable food options for all. Thank you for joining us on Healthy Lifestyle Tips. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Stay healthy everyone!